Hey there everybody, I wanted to walk through a quick video on finding superhero images. It's obviously a pretty popular genre. Now before everybody starts, you know, getting outraged and grabbing the pitchforks about trademarked images, yes, Spider-Man, Superman, we're not talking about those today. So I am going to type in superhero and we're going to see what comes up. So let's take a look here at the number of results for superhero. And obviously the results that come up, a lot of them are trademark infringed results. So I don't want us to get hung up on that. There's nothing I can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it. Trust the system. Someday Marvel, DC, whoever, Disney, they're going to file a complaint and Redbubble will hear it and they'll take down these designs. I've seen it happen. I'm not guaranteeing it's going to happen, but I just don't want you guys to get frustrated at this because there's only 57 results, 57,000 results in the entire genre. So that's not a lot. Okay. Like there's a number of different designs here that are not trademark infringed, but there's a huge opportunity for more designs to come into this genre. And I want to show you how to uh, you know, to add to this, to this pretty popular, you know, it's a pretty popular genre with only 57,000 results. So again, we're not talking about Superman. I'm not talking about Spider-Man. Let's jump into the first result here. So when I call up my first favorite website, it's a website called digitalcomicmuseum.com. And what we're talking about here is free public domain. Okay free public domain golden age comics and the reason that they're public domain is because they're so old that the limit of its uh, copyright is gone okay so these are copyright free and they're in the public domain meaning you can do anything you want with these comic books for the most part now look I'm talking 99% of the things that you want to do with this stuff. So let me just pop open, you know, latest updated comics. I'm just going to pop up, open this one called Movie Love 17, just to give us an idea of any, anyone. This is an ad, by the way, in case anybody starts going, holy moly, they got action comics on here. No, it's an ad. I'm just going to close that out. They got to make money too. So here is a comic book that is... A movie comic book and you can download it you can look at it it's pretty neat so there gives you actually all of the details about the comic book itself but you could actually read the book so I'm just gonna click on preview and that gives me a really big page that I can look at and I can scroll through the pages here page 1 of 37 page 2 of 37 and what I'm essentially doing is I'm I'm basically reading the comic book. There's an old vintage ad. Hmm, that might be kind of neat if you were to ever do some sort of a Redbubble or T Public design using vintage ads. It's from 1952. The name of this comic is called Movie Love. So there's again there's there's pictures like this which is professionally done artwork and you could take these designs and you can do whatever you like with them. It's pretty neat. Now, there's obviously panels with lots of words, and I'm not suggesting you just rip off the entire comic and throw it on Redbubble. I mean, nobody's going to buy page four or five of a comic book. Maybe, I don't know. I mean, maybe they might. But, you know, but this is a great example of where you could take a picture and just remove the old background, and you could have some sort of a vintage -y wallpaper background, and that would be, you know, pretty neat. So, again, Digital Comic Museum is a really easy way for you to get comic book artwork that is free. Here's another one, a really popular old comic book from the 1950s. It's called uh, Ace Comics here. This is this is the publisher, Ace Comics, and Baffling Mysteries is one that I myself have read a few issues of. And it's like a vault of horror, like an old EC Comics. So I'll just open up one here, Baffling Mysteries. I'll just pick one at random, number nine. So here's baffling mysteries okay and when I click on the preview button I can see some of these old covers are really cool so even just the logo you know I mean you got baffling weird fantastic astounding baffling mysteries you could just take that remove the yellow or even run it through some sort of a filter maybe a vintage filter you know make it look distressed and just that alone would look great on a coffee mug or a t-shirt here's the 
pretty cool old artwork. Got a couple bad guys abducting this poor dude. So again, I mean, you know, a popular thing you could do, I'm just going to make this a bit smaller so you can see the whole thing here. I've got this down to 30%. Imagine if you took this, this picture and you removed the words and you put in your own words. For example, you had this picture and the guy and the, and the, the speech bubble says, you know, this is what happens when you don't put a mask on, you know, during a pandemic or, or something, right? Like something funny or trending, you know, you could do that. And of course, somebody would buy that and go, wow, I'm going to put that on a t-shirt because I'm going to show the world that I think that, you know, my politics or my, you know, my views, that's what people typically buy. That That's why people typically buy products. They buy them for two reasons. They're either really pro something and they really like something or they're very anti something. They don't like something. So again, you could put something in here that's just funny, right? You know, you could have, um, you know, the date, you know, the, this is the date police. You know, these two horned devils come in and they go, you know, we're the date police and, you know, we're taking this guy away because he's a creep. I mean, something, right? I mean, again, it doesn't have to be the most wittiest thing in the world, but you could certainly, you know, find that by removing the words, you've got an opportunity here because this is all professionally done artwork. I mean, that's beautiful artwork, right? Or you could just leave it alone. You could just literally just put it up as is. So anyway, that's one idea. Digital Comic Museum is one. The other website that I really like is called Comic Book Plus. So there's the website there, Comic Book Plus. And I probably use this one just a little bit more. It's just personal preference, but I just like the way that this is laid out. You can select categories of comic books and what I really like, you know, for example, go to sci-fi, which is science fiction. I'll click on that. And when it loads up, it will show me all the different genres, or sorry, all the different publishers within this genre. So we can see there's science fiction compilation, the adventures of Captain Havoc, Air Wonder Stories. Again, all of these are in the public domain. And so what that means is you're free to use, edit. Again, this is an ad. I'll just remove that. But you can, you know, let's say it's all new comics, for example. So this is online. This is 15 books. Anything that's blue is a, you know, a link. So I'm going to click on the 15 books. And this will give me all new comics. And I can see here they're just laid out. So I'll pick all new comics number four. Just as an example, I'm just picking it at random. And there's the cover. And I'm just going to see it loads up right here. So all I have to do is just right click it and I can view and save the image, right? So I mean, pretty neat. And by clicking on it, it takes me to the second, the third, the fourth page. So again, there's some really neat old footage here that you can use. And again, some of it is high quality scans. Some of it is low quality scans. Oh my goodness, that's a little violent. So again, there's, you know, a lot of them are war comics. This is science fiction. There's war. There's different genres, right? So when you go to categories, a really popular one is romance comics. So I'm going to click on that. And what I mean when I say popular is it's popular on, it's popular with uh, women on Redbubble is what I mean. So here's just an example. All for Love is a, is a pretty popular book. All love, all romances. I'll go to all romances. So I'll click on the five books under all romances and I'll see it pops up and I'll just pick on, I don't know, all romances number three. I'm just going to pick one here at random and we can see here's a nice picture. It's going to pop up. There's all romances and we can see there again, you know, it's just a very basic 1940s, 1950s cover and then inside are ads and you know pretty neat old footage now i want to just pop open uh, redbubble here um, really quickly so give me one second the thing that i really like about redbubble is you can see the interest in a in a genre which is kind of nice so i'm going to type in for example romance comics okay and are we going to get 2 million results? Are we going to get, you know, 100,000 results? Who knows, right? Oh, look at that. Only 3,300 results for romance comics. A really popular one is, for some reason, Women Crying. So they just, I don't know if it's a pop art thing or what the dealio is, but there's a bunch of here that are women crying. And the other one is Women Slapping Dudes. So here's another one. And the ladies, oh, this is a perfect example. So see how the, 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 um, the text box here it says make me a sandwich 
Um, it might be the original text. It might not be the original text, but either way, that's pretty funny. So, you know, again, you could find a picture of a woman slapping a dude, and then you could just change the the words, and all of a sudden you've got a relatively unique design. So again, I mean, these are a lot of, you know, romantic adventure comics. Again, don't focus on the ones where somebody's obviously ripped off Marvel or DC. That's not what we're talking about here. Yes, they may sell a couple copies. They may even go a couple years. Don't worry about it. Stick true to what you're doing. Because if you find an old genre picture, you know you can sleep well at night that you're not going to get busted on Redbubble and you're not going to lose your account. What happens is people go years, they build up thousands of designs and then they get their account suspended and they lose their mind. Well, don't even run the risk of that. Instead, just, you know, have old timey public domain images where you can have, you know, things that are really kind of quirky and you know I have to say women in gen and I'm totally gonna stereotype here for a second so please don't please don't um, you know write the chief of police here but typically this sort of a you know let's take a look at this one pink pop art crying comic girl this picture most women who aren't aren't comic book nerds they don't particularly care if it's Marvel or DC or which comic books they just care about the picture they're going to buy a handbag or a duvet cover or a sticker, and they're going to go, I like that picture. It's old, it's vintage -y. They don't care if it's Marvel or DC or Timely Comics. They don't care. So they're going to look at that and go, wow, there's a lady kissing a police officer on an old-timey comic book. Here's a lady who's, you know, the phone's ringing and she's distressed. I mean, these are really, you know, pretty cool old designs, and nobody really cares which issue it is right so we don't need to go down that nerd route we can just look at this and go hmm romance comics interesting the other one is science fiction uh, let's type in vintage for example and we can see here there's vintage science fiction now again there's going to be some designs in here where people are um, you know ripping off trademarked images don't worry about that let's stay true to what we're doing here I don't see a lot of comic book images in here so again, that could be an opportunity for you. If we go up and we go science fiction comic book, let's see what comes up. 1,500 results. That's not a lot of results. There's a weird science and fantasy, weird science fantasy uh, genre. Again, I don't, you know, this, this one here, this EC, that is not public domain, so I would not I would only go off of what you know the websites is that I showed you. Here's one. This is a pastiche of a bunch of old science fiction comic book covers. That's really cool. Let's click on that one for a second. Again, I'm just looking this stuff up at random. So this is a sci-fi comic collage shirt. That is a great design. It's all public domain. As far as I can tell, it's all public domain. It's old pulp covers. And you can't buy that at a Walmart or a Target. That's a nice, vintage-y looking shirt. So that's a great example of where you can take some public domain images and pastiche them together and you can make something that's unique. So again, I hope that helps. There's a couple different websites that you can use. And yeah, I mean, go forth and conquer. There's a lot of public domain images you can use and you don't need to worry about trademark infringement. You can put your head on the pillow at night and sleep soundly.